Hello, viewers. My name is Michael Plunkett. I'm a graduating senior at Florida State University. I specialize in digital media production and web design. Today, I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu 7.10 on your computer. Ubuntu is a Linux operating system, which is a free alternative to Microsoft Windows and the Apple Macintosh operating system. For the installation, you will need a couple of items. First, you will need Ubuntu 7.10 on CD. To get this, you can download the image file off of their home website and burn it onto a CD. Also, you will need at least six gigabytes of free hard drive space for installation of the operating system and any other programs you would like to put on after the operating system has been installed. Now, once you have done this, you will put the CD into the computer and restart. From there, the computer will boot up w from the CD. The boot screen will soon pop up. Once it is booted, the top selection, start or install, is what you will want to select. Once it is selected, Ubuntu will begin to load onto your computer. This will take you a short amount of time for the most part. Just allow it to boot and just wait until the operating system is fully loaded. You will know when it's finished loading when you see the desktop appear on the computer. As you can see, the background is now appeared and the desktop should be finished loading shortly. Now that the desktop is loaded, you will see two icons on the desktop. One is examples, the other is install. Install is what you would like to double click to continue installation of the operating system to your hard drive. Now once you double click the install, you will be prompted with the steps needed to install Ubuntu on your hard drive. Now step one will ask you what language you would like the installation process in. By default, English is the language of choice, and that's what I will use. Step two will ask you where you are in the world by time zone. To do that, you can easily select the city of choice you are in or closest to your time zone. And after doing that, you click forward. Thirdly, it will ask you the keyboard layout for your computer, which you which you would like. After that, you click forward. Now here you will decide how you would like to partition the disk. First, you will have the choice to use the entire hard drive, or you can manually choose to set it up and customize it however you want. Now, manually customizing is a advanced step, and you should only do this if you know what you're doing in the Linux operating system. Otherwise, select the guided, use entire disk, and press forward. Now here you will ask for your name, give you a login name to use, and also name your computer and ask for a password. After this, it will give you a summarization of everything you selected, and from here, you easily can just look over and press install.
From here, the installation will take place. When the installation is complete, you will be given two choices. You will be either given the option to continue using the live CD to try out Ubuntu some more or restart the computer. Once you restart the computer, you'll be asked to first remove the CD. And after this, you'll be able to enjoy your new operating system. I hope you found this installation how-to video informative in helping you install Ubuntu on your computer. If you would like to get in contact with me, my email is mic213 at gmail.com.